Hey there, everybody. It's Andy, your local Salt Lake realtor here. Uh, today, I am going to discuss the difference between earnest money and deposit and your down payment when purchasing a home. Uh, before I get into all of that, I'd like to ask that if you do like the content I'm providing on this channel, that you do like this video, subscribe to the channel and uh, pound that uh, bell button there to get notifications for when I do release a new video. So uh, without further ado, let's dig right into this here. So earnest money versus down payment. Now, one thing you need to consider is that earnest money is an additional cost to purchasing a house that most people do not consider when they've not purchased a house before. So earnest money, what I'd like to describe as more of a security deposit to um, help the seller realize that your uh, realize that your willingness to go through with the purchase of a home you know, demonstrates a buyer's commitment to buy the home. Um, now, under certain circumstances, this money is refundable to you as a buyer, so long as you are aware of your contingency deadlines, that would be due diligence and your finance and appraisal deadline. If you find for whatever reason you don't like the house and due diligence, there's something structurally wrong with it, or you don't get the financing you like, as long as you withdraw your offer within the set deadlines that you as a buyer propose in your original offer, you can get that money back. Um, now, how much do you put down for earnest money? Um, it's a percentage or a fixed amount, okay? Um, in a competitive environment, you want to put down as much money as you can, either down payment and earnest money. Uh, for earnest money, we recommend 1% to 3% uh, earnest money so that it demonstrates how safe of a buyer you are to the seller. Um, and then if you do make it to closing, the earnest money is counted toward or is credited towards your down payment for the purchase of the property. Um, and also another way to think of it as uh, the earnest money is could be potential compensation to the seller for taking the house off the market while you are doing your due diligence to see how uh, well the house fits to your liking, if whether it's structurally sound and for you to get your loan. Um, if you as a buyer fail to act and perform within those deadlines, that money is then released to the seller um, at that time. So now, what's a down payment? A down payment is something that as a buyer you can put towards the purchase of a home. So this is more of a down payment, not a security deposit. Okay. Lenders require down payment minimums um, from 3 to 20 3% to 20%. The larger the down payment you have to put down, the lower your mortgage payment will be. And also the more likely you are to get a mortgage. In addition, if you put down less than 20%, you're more than likely going to have to have private mortgage insurance, which would be an added cost to your monthly mortgage payment. Um, again, if you do make it to closing, your earnest money is combined with your down payment and credited towards the purchase of the home. So again, earnest money, security deposit, down payment, money used to purchase the home. When you make it to a successful closing, the earnest money is combined with your down payment and credited towards the purchase of your property. Now, if you have any questions about this or anything else you see on Salt Lake Lifestyle, please don't hesitate to give me a call at 801-403-1803. And again, I ask if you do like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and smash that bell so you can get notifications for when I do when I do create and release more materials. So uh, I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you sometime in the future. Take care. Zandy, your local Salt Lake realtor. Bye-bye.